What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. No stipulation here today. Today we're just drafting for funsies. Let's lower this so that our picks are perfect. Picks are perfect. Three power incoming? All right. So, I like Dak Faden. We actually haven't drafted a Dak Faden yet. Yeah, I'm actually, me and Matthew are on the same page, bro. Uh, if any one of these three comes back, that would be great, but we're taking Dak Faden. Dak Faden is kind of like power because you can steal their power. I will steal your power. And ban. I'm not sure if that was a real link or not, but typically when people send stuff like that and... Uh, Ooh, Mystic Confluence. I was really excited about this Chandra, but then I saw this Mystic Confluence, and I was just like, nope. We're just taking Mystic Confluence. Because a lot of times stuff like that, they're like, oh my god, what's going on in this link? And then they, they put the link and it's like, a, it says it's a link to an image, but it's like, nah, bro. So, MX Master... Sla stuttering oh a bribery all right mystic confluence into bribery i'm game i am game yep this mouse is still actually hot garbage right now force of will huh skull clamp also very good i like a braid too a braid just takes care of some things being able to destroy an artifact or an enchantment seems pretty good no, or, uh, or a creature is pretty good i don't imagine we're a skull clamp deck force of will could be great i think we're just gonna go with the braid here though this also lets us be um Splinter Twin if we come across that. I wonder if Runaway Steamkin is any good. Runaway Steamkin never coming back. I mean, it's a 1-1, one, one, and then it just becomes a 2-2, two, two, and then a 3-3, three, three, and then a 4-4. Four, four. Nah, Force is strong, but like, I don't want to get rid of the cards, and sometimes you don't have a blue card in your hand. <clears throat> I don't think this is an easy duplicate. I think it's. I think I'm gonna try Runaway Steam King because we have not tried it yet. Uh, well, this is a late hymn to Torok. Wow, that's surprising. Swords to Plowshares. I think it's actually Thundermaw Hellkite. B -b 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 bonfire. Is it? I don't like Lightning Greaves. Don't care about the off-color signet. We'll just take Bonfire. Maybe we're going to try to Bonfire. This is going to be a little unconventional of a cube draft. Maybe we're just going to have some fun with this one. We'll draft unconventionally. <clears throat> oh, Sword of Feasting. Oh, a Lightning Bolt, though? Oh, Lightning Bolt's pretty good. Yeah, we're going to take the Lightning Bolt. Rekindling Phoenix came back. That's pretty gas. That's a okay. Batter skull came back. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, I was actually hoping this rival master would come back. That's insane. This deck's looking sweet right now. Mono red is an option. Like, we only have three blue cards right now. They're very good, though. Oh. 
Wow, Skull Clamp, and we have Rabble Master? Okay. Deal. Yeah, we're going to open Mox Sapphire or Ancestral Recall, and then we're going to be good. We're going to be good to go. Wow. Sure. Sure. Oh, I actually like Smuggler's Copter here over Mizium Mortars. I think if we do end up mono red, it's nice to have the uh, kind of loot effect. Off color mox. <laughs> Nailed it. Never didn't have the off color mox. Still probably mox. Steamkin on turn one, Braid on turn one, Rabble Master turn two. We're definitely taking the mox. It's also a DAC on turn two if that's what we're playing, so. What type of com computer am I using? I mean, I'm on, I mean, like, there's no, I don't know how to answer that. It's no, it's not, a, there's no type, really. It's just a PC. Uh, I definitely don't think it's Welder here. Welder, 100%. No, it's definitely not Welder. I like Cryptic Command. I like Experimental Frenzy, maybe. Hmm. Jace is okay. None of these lands are blue red, unfortunately. Hum. Ho oh, hum. I like Frenzy. None of these cards are that great for us. My problem with Welder and Mono, like, we don't have a way to get, like, a card like Batter Skull or Inkwell Leviathan into the graveyard is really my, the, the problem. Like, this pack is Garbo. I think it just might be Hangerback Walker here. I'm not thrilled about it, but... Could be Dismember, but I don't really feel like paying four mana for a Dismember. It actually could be Duretti. <clears throat> and the Goblin Welder might come back. I think this is actually a pick where I can throw away on a potential Duretti. Um, Deceiver Exarch is definitely worth hedging on in case we get Splinter Twin and or Kiki Jiki. So... Electromancer is interesting. So is Sword of Body and Mind. So is Coligon's Command. All right, this pack is interesting. Dark Dwellers is cool. Sword is pretty cool. It's probably better than Goblin. Like, we don't have any, any real... Like, these are cool at four mana, but... I think Sword is probably better. Especially when we have, like, tokens and things. P and Karen Alar and Umazawa's Jitte. Wow. What in the earth, man. <clears throat> I think it's P and Karen Alar. Like we do have Skull Clamp, we have Sword and Body and Mind. I don't think we need I think I'd rather have another another creature that's multiple creatures than than a first <clears throat> or than a third equipment rather. Oh, like fourth equipment if you want to count Batter Skull. Duretti and Inferno Titan and Ancestral Recall. Fascinating. See, I like Duretti because now we can discard. We also have Dak to discard, I guess. <clears throat> Which does make the artifact plan a little stronger if we do want to go in that direction. Ancestral version, also pretty nice. With the Seaver Exarch and Dak, though, I'm not, like, interested in abandoning blue for black. Yeah, I'm going to Duretti here. I'd rather have a cheaper creature than a more expensive creature. And I don't think we're I don't think we're a deck that wants one drops. I think we're trying to like do shenanigans here, and I think Magma Jet's probably fine. 
Yeah, Firebolt's fine. Marginally playable. Goblin Welder did come back, which is what we were hoping for, so I will easily take a Goblin Welder here. Hangerback Walker should probably be in this pack. I'm gonna I'm gonna bet that the Hangerback is right here. And we're gonna take that guy. And now our deck is actually looking pretty sick. Like this is probably we could probably play it like this. <clears throat> and I'd be pretty okay with that. The blue is definitely worth splashing for Dak, Deceiver, these guys. Manic Vandal is fantastic. I would main deck this guy in this format. Uh, we just don't have a reason to cut these yet. They're also super strong. Coligon's Command. That's a late Coligon's Command. With our Duretti, it's actually pretty good. Eh, I'll take Isatron. Lion's Eye Diamond, well. Yeah, Bribery just wins games. I mean, it is what it is. Inkwell Leviathan. We have Dak and Duretti to discard an Inkwell Leviathan if we want to. And a Smuggler's Copter. It seems good. I mean, our deck has like four instants and sorceries. I definitely don't want to take Young Pyromancer here. If we can hit one of our four instants and sorceries after casting this guy, we get like we get a we get a one one. Nah, probably better to have Inkwell when we have both Dak Faden and or we have both Duretti and Goblin Welder. Um, <clears throat> why is Inkwell good? Because we have Duretti and Goblin Welder to to cheat it into play. Probably not playing. Plus, like, we have tons of ways to discard it, too. Duretti, Dak Faden, uh, Smuggler's Copter. So it's not really stuck in our hand if we just... Yeah, I'm going to take the Inkwell. Inkwell is one of the good payoffs for the, the artifact deck. <coughs> All right, Factor Fiction is nice. Sort of Fire and Ice is nice. Might be better than Body and Mind, but I'm not sure. Inkwell's good. I would say Inkwell's chaotic neutral. Nice. Well played there. I do like Factor Fiction a lot. Yeah, I think we're taking Factor Fiction. I think it's stronger than Venser. This is 24 cards. What are we cutting? Probably Firebolt. Rabble Master, Manic Vandal. Deceiver Exarch is probably going to be in the sideboard unless we magically get a Splinter Twin. I think Vandal r very rarely doesn't have a target in this format, <clears throat> and all the targets are very, very good for it, so I'm, I'm very reluctant to cut Manic Vandal. Like, whether you're hitting a Grim Monolith, a Mox, a Signet, or, like, a Sword, it, they're all very good. Actually, Matthew, Ari, that's a good point. Having, uh, having Dak Faden and uh, a Braid does make me a little more eager to cut it. That's a good point. Uh, I don't think it's Sheldock. I'd rather have Control Magic than Sheldock Isle. Maybe. Maybe this is... Actually, we don't need Control Magic. We already have... All right, we'll take Sheldock here. We don't need the, the extra card. Yeah, all right. Boy, one Volcanic Island or one Steam Vents would be great here, but... Dang it. Just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. I mean, being able to copy, like, Thundermile Hellkite or PN Kieran Alara Return is pretty good. Yep, that's an easy pick. Kiki Jiki's back on the menu, boys. I'll take out the Batter Skull. Well, actually, Batter Skull's an artifact. Take out Hellkite, I guess? Oh, is that the worst of our five drops? Yeah, Luis picks Pexel and picks one Sheldock Isle all the time. I don't understand it personally. I think it's a good card. But I don't think it's like I don't think it's nearly as as strong as he makes it out to be, but I mean, you know. 
we have different perspectives. I'll take Blink of an Eye. I think it's probably better than Dire Fleet Daredevil here. Uh, actually, maybe I like the Daredevil better, just because Daredevil's a red spell. And being able to, like, flashback a Time Walk or an Ancestral randomly is pretty good. Oh, Mirror Battle Sphere. All right. Now we're getting the things that we want. We have, so we have, yeah, the Dark Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that's so exciting. Man, Steam Vents is exciting there. So is Mind Slaver, though. Oh. <clears throat> Mind Slaver being able to keep recurring it with, like, Welder. Oh, God. I have to go with Steam Vents. Our, our deck has enough win conditions. And a Wandering Fumeral. Actual perfect. Wow, that was very nice. So we need one cut here. Oh, Manic Vandal. Yeah, sure, that seems good. Oh, wow, the Young Pyromancer comes back. Sure. Is it better now? I don't know. We have Lightning Bolt, Abrade, Magma Jet, Factor Fiction, Bribery, Mystic 6. Nah, 6 is not where I want to be. Sword of Fire and Ice. Good deal. Another artifact. So, I mean, I wouldn't mind main decking it if I had to, but... Yeah, Power Clasm is good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this deck is actually looking pretty sweet right now. Wow, even a late Abbot of Carol keeps pretty good. All right. Sad we can't splash our two good black cards. Yeah, same, but I mean, I think our deck is, this is a perfect 23. I'm also really glad we picked up both Hangerback Walker and Mirror Battle Sphere when we have Duretti and Goblin Welder. Let's add some basics. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, that seems great. 9 and 10. Done. So done. Oh, we have a Mox Emerald too. So let's put the Mox in over the Mountain. So now it's 9, 9, and then a Mox Emerald. I actually forgot about that. Uh, I think it's definitely close between Body and Mind and Fire and Ice, but I think Body and Mind wins you the game more frequently than Fire and Ice does. Fire and Ice pulls you ahead and gives you consistent card advantage, whereas Body and Mind just wins you the game in three hits because they can't, like, they can't have a deck. I actually forgot the mocks because it was the beginning of pack one, pack two, and it actually was off color. So I was just like, eh. Um, I think this is keepable. Magma Jet gives us more options. They went to six, so we'll give it a shot. Oh, I would definitely, I would, I would, I would probably side in Sword of Fire and Ice against Red Decks too. I think on, you know, by default, Body and Mind is just stronger because of its, its effect. <clears throat> Scalding Tarn into Basic Island. Intriguing. Can you play a dirtily two drop that I can kill with a Magma Jet? That would be nice. I guess not. Oh, all right, let's do that. Solid draw. Thank you. Seville Pippin, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Two more months and we get to It's Okay to Buy Each Other MeUndies Anniversary. <laughs> Fantastic. If you guys are interested, you can check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. Uh, you get 15% off with that affiliate link and free shipping and free returns. And uh, they're pretty sweet. It's a great product. Uh, it's super soft micromodal. You get uh, onesies, lounge pants, socks, tees, underwear. Whatever you could possibly need. And, uh, you know, if for any reason you don't like it, just bring it on back. But you should. MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. Check it out. What do you take here? Like, what's even the pick? Magma Jet so we can, like, maybe not hit lands? Seems bad. 
Once we hit five, like, sure. All right. Yeah, okay. That's a that's a nice one, huh? Well, I'm actually tempted to just magma jet here because we want to hit a land. Run away, steam can never come back. Steam can on a one. God, do I just want both of these? I mean, this is fine as a land. Um, yeah, actually, oh, we do want both of these. So, if we go Phoenix next turn, this will be a 4-4, which means we can remove all three counters. Yeah, put both on top. And then we actually have enough mana for Shut Kiki Jiki. Yeah, that seems great. Time to even this up. What are we at right now? 536? Yeah, that seems fine. Caspi, thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. Duretti. Mom spaghetti. We're definitely going to kill something here because we want the counter. Kill this dude. Play Mox Arena. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can play Deceiver Exarch, untap a land, use three, four, five to play Kiki Jiki if they tap out. <sighs> well, that's unfortunate. Oh, really? This is how you're going to be? Dang. Dang. Because now we know we draw this guy. You're going to condemn this dude? No. Okay. Just taking four. Seems fine. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyone else just yell somehow I'm neither here nor there at their pet? Oh, man. That's great. Got that runaway train stuck in your head, huh? Anguished unmaking on the dude. All right. You got it. You're at five? God, even if we don't combo out, Deceive, if we hit a land, Deceiver Exarch and Fumarol by themselves are lethal. <laughs> uh, let's tap a perm. Let's tap this dude. Goodbye. Any land, any land. Yep, that ain't a land. That's sad. One, two, three, four, activate. Nope, that doesn't do it. Well, that's that's sad. You got seven nation armies stuck in your head? I don't even know how I did that. I feel like that was not my doing. Balance. Is this for artifacts too? I think it's land creatures and cards in hand, right? So literally you have to sack a land and I got to sack a creature. Okay. So you're dead to Wandering Fumarol if I had any land, right? Uh, sack all creatures. Done. <laughs> Press done to sacrifice that creature. Okay, you got it. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go down. Wow, this is a lot of, a lot of things that are happening right now. Land. Wow. And this is why I hate Shelldock Isle. 
22 to 23. What do we get? A hang Look at this. This is why I hate Sheldock Isle right here. Literally a hanger back walker or it's literally just mountain. Is, is it, are we casting it or are we playing it? You may play the exiled card. Sure. We'll just get a mountain. Oh, God. So not only did it come into play tap so we couldn't win with Wandering Fumeral or cast one of our five drops, it literally hit nothing. So, I mean, like, the upside on Sheldock Isle is awesome. Like, when you can get, like, one of your cool nine drops, it's it's fantastic. But, I mean, like, it's not super common. <clears throat> it's a free, it's a land that does something for free, right? But there is a cost to it. So, I'm going to assume you have something for this, right? Because otherwise you're just dead. We can also Mystic Confluence and just draw some things. One, two, three, four, five. We could play Batter Skull. Batter Skull forces them to deal with it, but I think they have a way to deal with it. They have four mana and three cards. I mean, it's not like they haven't played a bunch of removal. They played Anguished Unmaking. I guess those aren't. I guess it's not a bunch of removal. Oh, they just conceded from the game. They tap Plateau and concede from the game. Seems good. All right. Direfully Daredevil seems like it could be good here. Oh, we win the match. Good, good games. All right. Mm, good, good games, everyone. We everybody, everybody, everybody played hard. So that's cool. Let's play first. Um, I actually think that's hands fine. I guess hanger back for one is fine. Because if we draw like a Dak Faden, we can discard. Nah, nah, nah Duretti. Nah. Kill it. I dare you. I dare you to kill it. Oh, that's a good one. What are the odds this guy survives? Absolute zero, right? Oh, we got a thing out of it, so. Are they gonna kill it now? I love the I love the post to get a free goblin out of it, kill it. That's a that's always a good time. Oh yeah, thanks <laughs> thanks for the free goblin. Preach. <clears throat> Kind of just want to play Deceiver Exarch and tap this dude, but they're going to make a snake on our turn, right? So. Oh, I like that. 
I will pay for it as well. So now on our turn, we can actually go hanger back, activate, untap hanger back, hanger back, activate, if we want to play Deceiver Exarch. We could have also just played Batter Skull, but I don't think it's great when they have Ophiomancer out, so. Oh, wow. What's happening right now? What's up, Sour Cherry Meatballs? Discarded Siege Gang, Grave Titan, and Duretti. Wow. Reanimate, huh? Hmm. Well, isn't that special? Cast. Let's do one of each. Return a creature to its owner's hand. We'll bounce the Ophiomancer so you have to recast it. Counter this and... Yeah, that's fine. Choose target spell. Choose target... Return target creature. Ain't no hollaback girl. What was your saw sort of body in mind? Oh baby. Oh boy. Oh little buttery biscuits. Like if we attack with this goblin, they just block, right? But then they replay Ophiomancer. Maybe we want them to block with this instead. Because then they just replay Ophiomancer, Answer, but that's their play for the turn. I don't think we're equipping. I think we're just playing it and passing because I want to keep Deceiver X Arc up. Uh, we have Splinter Twin, or we have uh, Kiki Jiki. It's basically the same thing. It's basically the same thing. Recurring Nightmare is pretty strong. Uh, uh, do we have any, any way to deal with that? Not really. Seems like a pretty easy choice. Sack Snake, get Grave Titan. Yep. One, two, th one, two, th one, one, two, four, five, six. I think it's probably more important to get Deceiver Exarch down, tap down the Grave Titan, I guess. I could also untap to land and put another counter on the hangar back, but I don't think that's actually getting us out of here. If we had a way to, if we just drew Kiki Jiki, it'd be great. Well, sort of body minus 10 cards. You're thinking of Ulamog, which is 20. So it's going to be like three sort of body and mind triggers. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to play Batter Skull here. I'm bad, thanks. No, it's happened. It's a, it's a pretty easy thing to get confused. Draw two, discard three. Oh, 
Ulamog, Recurring Nightmare, Get rid of Zombie, Bring back Ulamog. Oh, Siege Gang Commander instead. Fascinating. Lots of blocky boys. Oh, this is great. Being able to get 1-1s one out is just insane. Um, yeah, this is totally fine. Actually, double blocking means they might just kill... Nope, they can't. Alright, they ordered it. Yeah, this is great for us. Or we can just draw Kikijiki and win here. Nope, just a mountain. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Narcomancy, Animate Dead, Corpse Dance, Rakdos Return, Putrid So nothing that's we're terribly scared of. Duplicate's pretty bad, but I mean, like, it's going to cost you three to get rid of the Thopter, and then we still have another Thopter that we can equip, so. Meh. Going to 29, but that's also your turn, right? Like, you play, you play Recurring Nightmare, and you have to have a second land to Siege Gang as well, so. Oh, is it non-token? Well, that'll do. All right. <laughs> Isn't it better to split the equipment? Mm, yeah, probably. No, it's not actually because if if this is a 7-7 seven, seven and they have a Siege Gang commander with two Goblin tokens, I don't want them to go shoot, shoot, and kill the 3-3. Three, three. Right? Without the Batter Skull, it's only a 3-3, three, three, so they can actually kill one of them. Um... And I'd rather have one of them be a 7-7, which means they have to literally expend their resources on their turn to do it. It's better to expend it because they, in the sense that like they have to use two tokens on one guy in that way. But if we have the opportunity to just have a 7-7 on board, I'd rather just take that risk. They could also just put Ulamog in play here, which is problematic, but... Ulamog being a 10-10 and Leviathan being an 11, a 7-11 is pretty sweet because we can just block it. Oh my god, they're getting a duplicate back. I wonder if they think it can hit tokens. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this could be good. Because the only other option is duplicate. They, they can only get a Deceiver Exarch here, which is totally fine. Correct. In general, if they don't have anything on board that shows that they can deal four damage, I would put it on both. I would dis distribute it so we have a 4-4 four, four and a 3-3. Three, three, but, oh, wow. They just literally... I think they just like, oh, I can't kill that. Well, I better scoop. They're taking eight here. And what, are we, what would we be drawing? A mountain? All right. So they have another turn. They'd have one card in their deck, though, so... Wow, that was pretty nuts. I do like Fire and Ice because, well, for one reason, uh, they have... What do you call it? I actually kind of like Direfully Daryl. If they have a reanimate uh, and like things like that. How many sword triggers is that? One. I guess... God, I guess you're right. One sword trigger and they're basically dead. Man. Oh, bribery seems insane. I think we can cut Batter Skull for, for Thunder My Hellkite. I think having a 5 5 flyer is pretty pretty important. <laughs> Basically dying. I also kind of like Is It Charm because it's a counter spell. Probably better than an Abrade. It might be better than Magma Jet, but at least Abrade hits the. Magma Jet hits the face. <sighs> I think that's actually pretty good.
Also, if we can get something like Inkwell Leviathan and Mere Battle Sphere in our graveyard and they exhume, it's nice. But also, you don't want them in the graveyard because then they can just reanimate them on their own, which is kind of scary. This hand is trash. Send it back. Uh, this hand's great because we have Smuggler's Copter for this Leviathan. And we can put a clamp on it. So. Um. I'll keep it. Thanks for all the YouTube content. I've been slurping up. Keep Frank and Frank. Thank you so much. Sorry, Troy Meatball. I really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. I'm just going to play this. If we don't have a turn three, play Steam Vents is better on three, where we can just go Island Smuggler's Copter and hope we have a guy to crew. Well, so long, Smuggler's Copter. Like you do. Dak fading one time. One time. Wow, 28 to 3. Jesus. That was a hell of a score. Oof. That's a good dude. That's a beautiful chicken. Yeah, we magma jet our own rekindling phoenix just to draw two. And we can scry them to the top, no less. They have four cards. Bizarre is pretty good, though. It lets you search for... It lets you search pretty deep for the card that you want. And also uh, the reanimate spell that you may need. Here we go. Let's see what three hit the bin. A little terrifying. You can draw two more if you clamp the egg. That's true. I mean, drawing four for one Rekindling Phoenix is actually pretty good, no matter how you cut it. I see. I mean, despite the fact that you do lose both the chicken and the egg, it's still one card, and you're drawing four cards for four mana. Well, for six mana, I guess, but, you know, distributed. Okay. Arctic is pretty powerful. Watched you a lot, Frank, and it seems to me that Moto Shuffler really isn't in your favor compared to... Compared to others, either flooded, like, or no matter. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, it's weird. It feels... It feels like it's in my head, but... Interesting. I mean, this is a two-turn clock, so I'm just going to play with both these guys. Put you to nine. And then we have Dak Faden if they play, like, an artifact. Or we can just discard Inkwell Leviathan to have more options. So. Which came first? I think the chicken came first in this situation, because it comes before the egg. Corpse Dance, getting back Chupacabra. Sure. In response, do this. Oh, because you have no cards in hand. Oh, you get back Grave Titan, which you're probably not going to do because it's terrible. What? Has haste? Sure. Are you just dead? I don't understand. Why wouldn't you get back Chupacabra to kill the Thunder Mahal? Okay, like that seems super greedy. Uh, 
Okay. Instead of doing the play that will keep me alive this turn, I'll do the play that... Oh, it's because it, it's top... Yeah, but... Oh, because it's top card. So it would have been... Uh, what was the top creature? It was like something stupid, right? Yeah, you're right. You're right. It would have been... Wasn't it still Ravenous Chupacabra? Even the top card was Ravenous Chupacabra before they played Bizarre. They just didn't have to discard... Oh, they had to discard everything. They just could have not bizarred and then corpse stance to get Chupacabra. Like, they still don't lose that situation. Chups was the top card until they put the Grave Titan in there. Like, you guys are just wrong. If they didn't actually activate... Like, they could have just kept the cards in their hand. I'm uh, definitely mulliganing this hand. This seems good. Mm, bottom you. Oh, they're on the play? That's rude. Okay. Considering have a, if we draw a creature, I'll just definitely play. Uh, they definitely didn't get Corpse Stance off of Bazaar because that was on the stack when they played Bazaar. Bazaar discarded all the cards. I don't know why you'd make something like that up. That's a weird thing to just make up. That's not how that went. <laughs> I don't even think they cast it with buyback. They didn't have the mana. I'm pretty sure they just literally cast it. It doesn't matter. It's not relevant. All I had to do was cast Corpse Dance, get Chupacabra back, and kill our Thunder Mile Kite. Wow. I'm going to steal your signet because that seems better. <laughs> it is my. Are you going to repeal your own signet? Sure. You got it, my dude. Signet again. Okay. Time walk. Wow. You're doing very well. Frost Titan? Yeesh. Uh, definitely get rid of these two for obvious reasons. We'll play this guy. We will play Copter. So long, Dak Faden. Dackles McFadens. Man, Direfully Daredevil definitely comes in. This is why I just like Direfully Daredevil in the main deck. Like, being able to just steal your time walk. Mr. Steal Yo Time Walk is pretty good. Old man, look at my life. I'm a lot like you. I think they're trying to keep this guy off of killing their Frost Titan, which is fine. Come on, dude. This is just an amazing run of Time Walk into Frost Titan into Brain Maggot. It's really frustrating. Really? You think that's the pick, huh? I don't know what, what I don't know what that means. 
I, I, like, I don't know what that means. Uh, Duretti? Can we get a Duretti here? A mountain? Oh. I mean, you have seven power on board. I had one card in my hand that you stole, so... I'm not sure why you're all dot, dot, dot me for taking the one good card in my hand. Are we dead on board? Yes, we are. Fantastic. Yep, Daredevil's coming in for sure. Uh, take out. Yeah, Braid's good. Take out Batter Skull again. It's probably all we want. I don't think we care about Manic Vandal. Cool. Was checking for lag? <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> okay. You got it. I think we're going to keep this hand. It's not great. Oh man, look at my life, I'm a lot like you. Alright, so, Sword is pretty good against the mono, oh, blue-black, okay. Well, still good against the blue deck. Well, that's a thing. Let me just take bribery here. Or not. I mean, any, there's like tons of draws that are great for us. Duretti, Dak Faden, Factor Fiction, Rabble Master, Battle Sphere. Island. In before Sheldock on top. I guess we just run it out there, right? Let's see if you have it. They never don't have it. Congratulations. How about a stipulation where I don't get mana flooded? Yeah, I mean, that's a good one. I'm a fan of that one. Probably not likely, but... This is really just counter every spell we play. Remand, sure. Fascinating. There you go. <laughs> Have that one. Whoop. 
So now we have Jet, Swamp, Heroes, Probe. That's what, we, that's what we know you gave. So they go kill this guy, it just comes back. Jet. Oh, is this what they, oh, they put it up here? Nice, nice, I'm a fan. Probe, Probe. Seems good. Bounce that. <sighs> wow, just just perfect. Inquisition and repeal. Must be nice. We don't want to attack into Baleful Strix because then they'll just Heroes Downfall our token. Heroes Downfall and six other cards. Seems good. Frost Titan. Okay. Seems good. What a weird time walk. Just draw a card. Do you have six lands heroes downfall in hand? <laughs> I don't get it. Sure. Big Chalupa. That's a good one. I think Shrine of Burning Rage might be able to deal with this match if we can actually get it large enough. We needed a seventh land. That's what you get. Actually, so we need to have Heroes Downfall and four other cards. It's not terrible. Seems good. Can I get in a braid? Doesn't matter, they have Glenlunge or Archmage. I guess we can kill the Archmage. Yep, seems good. Who gets the token? Sacrifice this creature return. Dies. Yeah, you get the token. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. Got it. Inkwell Leviathan actually might win us this game. One more land and we can Inkvel. Inkvel. We can Inkvel Leviathan. Oh, of course you have Necromancy. Why wouldn't you have that? Now our life total needs to be conserved.
Oh, actual garbage. Yep, we're gonna concede this game. Like, we're gonna take like 8,000 damage here from this guy. We're gonna take four, we're gonna block. Um, we're gonna block here. We're just running out of blockers. And this is gonna take at least next turn, attack the turn after, attack the turn after. Maybe? I don't know. I mean, they had to have Counterspell Remand and... I guess they didn't have Mana Leak, but they had to have Counterspell and Remand at pretty opportune times. Like, we had Bribery. They had, they'd Counterspelled it. <sighs> what are you going to do? Yeah, we can gang block the mirror, but it also leaves us open to A, any trick. One, two, three, four. Four. It's still terrible. Like, they have a bunch of 1-1s one and, like, a bunch of flyers, so it's not really great. But, like, I don't want to activate this because then we're never playing this. Do we even have a way to win if we draw land? <laughs> and tap this guy down, and then maybe we're live to like Kiki Jiki. It's actually not terrible. So if they just attack with everybody, we got four blockers, right? Five blockers. Take four, five, six, seven, eight. We can go block, 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 block. So we take five at the very most. So I think we want to deceiver Exarch this idiot. Maybe not. I think we can just go to combat here. The biggest creatures on the ground are blockable for us, so I'm not super concerned with that. So we're at four now. We go block. We take one, two, three. Oh, there we're actually we're actually dead in the air. Never mind. Oh, we can actually use this to kill something, so that's actually fine. Untap shackles, yeah, solid strategy. Um, we're gonna block, block. We only we only gonna block one flyer, and we can only block one ground guy. So we're gonna go block here, block here, take two, go to two. Does it matter? Tap this guy.
One time. Oh, that's not it. <sighs> yep, that'll do. Well, I guess next card's Kiki Jiki. Please don't go directly to this. Thank you for doing that anyway. Direfully Dare Daredevil would have got us a time walk. Then we would have drew an island. Yep, doesn't matter. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. You can also check out meandies.com slash franklapore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And if you go to Aaron Kane Custom Deck Boxes, links are in the description. You can get 10% off with promo code Frank. So be sure to check those out. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate all the support. And I will see you guys next time.